Caroline of Ansbach. Caroline of Brandenburg Ansbach, Wilhelmina Charlotte Caroline, born on the March 1, 1683, died on the 20 the November 1737, was Queen of Great Britain and Ireland and Electress of Hanover from June 11, 1727 until her death in 1737 as the wife of King George II. Caroline's father, Margrave John Frederick of Brandenburg Ansbach, belonged to a branch of the House of Hohenzollern and was the ruler of a small German state, the Principality of Ansbach. After Caroline was orphaned at a young age, she moved to the enlightened court of her guardians, King Frederick I and Queen Sophia Charlotte of Prussia. At the Prussian court, her previously limited education was widened and she adopted the liberal outlook possessed by Sophia Charlotte, who became her good friend and whose views influenced Caroline all her life. When she was a young woman, Caroline was much sought after as a bride. After rejecting the suit of Archduke Charles of Austria, a claimant to the Spanish throne, she married George Augustus, who was third in line to the English throne, and subsequently the British throne, and heir apparent to the electorate of Hanover. They had eight children, seven of whom reached adulthood. Caroline moved to Britain permanently in 1714 when her husband became Prince of Wales. As Princess of Wales, she joined George Augustus in rallying political opposition to his father, King George I. In 1717, after a family row, George Augustus was expelled from court. Caroline came to be associated with Robert Walpole, an opposition politician who was a former government minister. Walpole rejoined the government in 1720, and George Augustus reconciled publicly with his father on Walpole's advice. Over the next few years, Walpole rose to become the leading minister. Upon her husband's accession in 1727, Caroline became queen and electress, and her eldest son, Frederick, became Prince of Wales. He was a focus for the opposition, like his father before him, and Caroline's relationship with him was strained. As princess and as queen, Caroline was known for her political influence, which she exercised both through and for Walpole. Her tenure included four regencies, which occurred during George II's stays in Hanover. She is credited with strengthening the House of Hanover's place in Britain during a period of political instability. After her death in 1737, Caroline was widely mourned by her political allies as well as by the king, who refused to remarry. Queen Consort and Regent On George I's death in 1727, George Augustus became King George II and Caroline became Queen Consort. The couple were crowned at Westminster Abbey on October 11 that year. Though George II denounced Walpole as a rogue and rascal, over the terms of the reconciliation with his father, Caroline advised her husband to retain Walpole as the leading minister. Walpole commanded a substantial majority in Parliament and George II had little choice but to accept him or risk ministerial instability. Walpole secured a civil list payment of £100,000 a year for Caroline and she was given both Somerset House and Richmond Lodge. Courtier Lord Hervey called Walpole the Queen's minister in recognition of their close relationship. For the next 10 years, Caroline had immense influence. She persuaded the king to adopt policies at the behest of Walpole and persuaded Walpole against taking inflammatory actions. Caroline had absorbed the liberal opinions of her mentor, Queen Sophia Charlotte of Prussia, and supported clemency for the Jacobites, supporters of the rival Stuart claim to the throne, freedom of the press, and freedom of speech in Parliament. Over the next few years, the king and queen fought a constant battle against their eldest son, Frederick, Prince of Wales, who had been left behind in Germany when they came to England. He joined the family in 1728, by which time he was an adult, had mistresses in debts, and was fond of gambling and practical jokes. He opposed his father's political beliefs and complained of his lack of influence in government. The Regency Act 1728 made Caroline rather than Frederick Regent when her husband was in Hanover for five months from May 1729. During her regency, a diplomatic incident with Portugal, where a British ship had been seized on the Tagus, was defused, and the negotiation of the Treaty of Seville between Britain and Spain was concluded. From May 1732, she was regent for four months while George II was again away in Hanover. An investigation into the penal system uncovered widespread abuses, including cruel treatment and conspiracy in the escape of wealthy convicts. Caroline pressed Walpole for reform, largely unsuccessfully. In March 1733, Walpole introduced an unpopular excise bill to Parliament, which the Queen supported, but it gathered such strong opposition that it was eventually dropped. 
Caroline's entire life in Britain was spent in the southeast of England in or around London. As queen, she continued to surround herself with artists, writers, and intellectuals. She collected jewelry, especially cameos and intaglios, acquired important portraits and miniatures, and enjoyed the visual arts. She commissioned works such as terracotta busts of the kings and queens of England from Michael Risbrack, and supervised a more naturalistic design of the royal gardens by William Kent and Charles Bridgman. In 1728, she rediscovered sets of sketches by Leonardo da Vinci and Hans Holbein that had been hidden in a drawer since the reign of William III. Caroline's eldest daughter, and married William IV of Orange in 1734 and moved with her husband to the Netherlands. Caroline wrote to her daughter of her indescribable sadness at the parting, and soon felt homesick and traveled back to England when her husband went on campaign. Eventually her husband and father commanded her to return to Holland. In the final years of her life, Caroline was troubled by gout in her feet. But more seriously, she had suffered an umbilical hernia at the birth of her final child in 1724. On November 9, 1737, she felt an intense pain and, after struggling through a formal reception, took to her bed. Part of her small intestine had poked through the hernia opening. Over the next few days she was bled, purged, and operated on without anesthetic, but there was no improvement in her condition. The king refused Frederick permission to see his mother. A decision with which she complied, she sent her son a message of forgiveness through Walpole. She asked her husband to remarry after her death, which he rejected saying he would take only mistresses. She replied, Ah, mon Dieu, c'est la inempêche pas, my God, that doesn't prevent it. On November 17, her strangulated bowel burst. She died on November 20, 1737 at St. James's Palace. Caroline was buried in Westminster Abbey on December 17. Frederick was not invited to the funeral. George Frederick Handel composed an anthem for the occasion, the Ways of Zion du Morne slash funeral anthem for Queen Caroline. The king arranged for a pair of matching coffins with removable sides, so that when he followed her to the grave 23 years later, they could lie together again. Thanks for watching her story channel. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe our channel.